hello, I'm Corinne Cassini, and I'm a Franco-American cellist turned Alexander Technique teacher. Uh, and the Alexander Technique is indeed what I teach and have been teaching for the past 10 years here at the Hayes School of Music. Um, I, I really enjoy it, and I really um, love that, um, well, I really find that my studies as a musician um, support me a lot in teaching this to musicians specifically. Um, I first discovered the Alexander Technique as a student, as a junior at um, Eastman, and, um, and took it for two years, and then got busy with other things, and namely becoming a Baroque cellist and studying uh, early music performance practice in the Netherlands. And then I was in contact in those circles with a lot of people who were, Ale who were familiar with the Alexander Technique um, after a sort of a hiatus of being in touch with um, people who were familiar about it. And then a few of my colleagues were actually doing the training. So when I graduated from the Utrecht uh, School of the Arts, I enrolled in the program in the Netherlands to become a certified Alexander teacher. And then, um, and then I d after I graduated, I decided to leave the Netherlands and wound my ba way back to the U.S. and to New York and um, kind of a, yeah, a fun, fun coincidence that I found uh, the Hay School of Music and that there was a opening for an Alexander teacher that um, the timing lined up really nicely. And so here I am. The Alexander Technique is a way of learning um, to be mindful in activities of everyday life. It's uh, both a skill set and a process to discovering inefficient patterns, uh, habits of movement, behavior of thought in the activities of our lives, and then learning actually from that observation how you might um, bring about change in, um, in yourself. And it, um, yeah, it gives you, it gives you a better sense of who you are while you're doing what you're doing, um, which leads to a sense of whole self coordination or mind body awareness. And it helps you access more of your potential in whatever it is you're doing. and I teach Alexander Technique for musicians, they, they might say, oh, so it's specific to musicians. And granted, uh, F.M. Alexander, the um, man who uh, went through this process with himself, was an orator, a speaker, and he had a, had a voice problem. And the Alexander Technique is basically his solution to his own problem, which he then taught. Um, and so that's why it became most known in the performing arts um, sphere. But really, you can use it in anything. So for instance, um, checking your phone. When we, when we check our phone, we, we tend to go down to check our phone, or we tend to move in the direction of the focus of our attention. So whether it's anything, um, picking up an object, we, we tend to move down and that's really not necessary. We have our beautiful limbs here called arms that are designed to reach out and pick something up and, and bring it to us. So we really don't have to distort ourselves. And, and, and that's, a, that's a physical example, but we also distort, our body distorts itself in a response to our thinking. So when we're, um, thinking about something difficult, or imagine you're at the computer and it's not just like you're typing an email, but you're typing a difficult email. And so <laughs> if, you're, if that's a challenging email, you, you might get absorbed in it and you'll come down, but you also come into a contraction within yourself because, because that's troubling for you. Um, you know, ever seen a person say, um, oh, I'm, I'm really happy today and look like this? No, it's like, 
uh, I'm not so good today, but if I'm happy today, you know, you're going to be up here and, and open. So the Alexander Technique helps you become aware of the impact of your states of mind on you and therefore on the situation that you're in or the activity that you're in. So we apply it to activities and we also apply it to situations. And so an activity for a musician is, is playing their instrument and a situation is playing their instrument on stage during a competition, you know, and so the stakes are higher and, and that creates more tension in the body potentially or and so we work with through the awareness through the students or the person's self-awareness of how they might soften or find other ways to connect with themselves besides the the stress um many actors have um studied the alexander technique as well and in fact um uh, Juliette Binoche, the French actress, uh, defined, uh, defines the technique as um, transforming stress into joy. And so, you know, you can imagine the stress of, well, of life, but of a performer. <laughs> and, and if you can transform that into joy, then that's what you're going to be sharing with your audience. You can't fake it. <laughs> And, and I really like that edge because uh, it, it keeps me true, it keeps me real. Um, so I, I like that for myself. And then in my students, I do really see um, many faces light up uh, out of um, enthusiasm or also understanding um, what I find a lot here at the Hay School of Music. I mean, I got, get a lot of support from my colleagues here for teaching this. Um, and, and still, sometimes what, um, what a colleague might say to their student, their student is struggling to understand what exactly the teacher wants. And then they come to Alexander class and, and, and we talk about something and then they, they connect the dots and then they realize, oh, what, what my voice teacher is telling me about breathing, that, that actually matches something I heard in the, in the Alexander class. So I really like when those connections happen. And I really feel that I have an important role in being a resource for our students in, um, in managing the various challenges of a, of a musical career. It only works if you apply it, and, and, and it's pretty magical when you integrate it into your daily life. The, so the students that I get in the Alexander class are, are a cocktail of all these degrees, and also, you know, a freshman could be in the same class as a senior, really, for the, for the Alexander Technique. And I find that very enriching too. Like, so it's a class where students perform and so vocalists get to hear trumpet players, you know, in a small setting and, and, and seniors get to know freshmen and music therapy students get to know music industry students in a, in, in a, in a, spe a special class setting. Um, so I, I like the variety uh, and I find that's a very, that's a good asset because I also have seen students switch midway. They realize, well, maybe I'm more suited for industry or they started an industry and they realize they're more suited for performance, for instance. Or so that's maybe what I appreciate the most.